noticed something weird with mom lately. Like, I know she's not on good terms with dad, but lately even mentioning him makes her, um, unpleasant. Her scowl during those moments puts yours to shame. Right? What bothers me is why she can't stand him but seems perfectly fine with me. Especially with what I've done. Does she know? She should. Didn't you tell her? I thought you told her. You said you would. Perhaps in another timeline. But definitely not this one. Hey, I thought we both agreed we wouldn't joke about that. I am a bit surprised. You never want to go on grocery runs with Frisk and me. Yeah, I came so you could drop me off at Dad on the way. I want to talk with him about stuff. Uh, oh, well... And before you say, but I'm a parent, you may talk with me. It's because it's more guy stuff. But, and before you say, I thought you had Frisk for that. Not even they know where they fall in that spectrum, and you know that. My heavens, Asriel, that is the last thing I was thinking. I was going to ask how long you would stay. You know plenty of guy stuff. Yeah, it's no issue. I'll even drive him back, save you some trouble and gas. <laughs> it would be a change of pace, huh? Okay, bye. Whew, she's gotten quicker with those quips. Ah, uh, well, it's worth it for some milkshakes and a view of the sunset over the lake with my boy. I'm glad you think so, Dad. Uh, you mind if I ask you a personal question? Sure. So, you've done some... Unpleasant things in the past. Golly, that's quite a bit of sugar coating there. How do you move on from that? That sort of negativity is like a lead weight tied to your heart. And if you focus on it too much, it can get heavy enough to crush it. So we try to balance it out with positive things. It doesn't have to be anything huge, just small, good moments. It could be picking up a new hobby sail on your favorite candy, enjoying a movie, helping a neighbor, or spending weekends with your kids. You focus on the good for long enough, and the pain of your regrets dull a bit. You forget about it a bit longer each time. After a while, it's like it's not even there. Have you gotten to that point yet? I know it's not what you want to hear, son, but I don't see myself getting there anytime soon. Why do you ask? I know I don't talk about it at all, but back when I was a flower, I did a number of unpleasant things, too. Unpleasant thing? Oh. Oh. Hey. If I didn't think I could ever move on, do you think I'd bother? Even if that vision of inner peace is far away, you have to keep up hope, right? As long as it doesn't drag on like your last vision. Oh no, Tori's rubbing off on you! <laughs> I didn't mean it like that! <laughs>